Wearing what you want gives you confidence, and being it, being told what to wear doesn't really fit your personality and puts you in a bad mood and overall can kill your confidence. In the workplace, expressing yourself should be allowed. Wearing your style of clothes, as well as having um, whatever hair color you want, makeup you want, showing off your tattoos and piercings, and your appearance does not affect your work and how others work. You should be able to look the way you want. Being looked the way you want gives you confidence and it doesn't affect your work. At, personally, at my job, I work at Skate Town USA. Even though it's a minimum wage job, we still have dress codes. Um, you're not allowed to have any, you have to have natural colored hair, you're not allowed to wear makeup, you're not allowed to have any jewelry, and you have to wear the, um, your uniform. And for my future work, I want to work at a children's hospital, and they don't really um, like let you wear tattoos, and plus I want to work in radiology, so I can't have any piercings in any kind of metal. First thing that I'll be talking about is the problem with the older generation, of how they have an ideal way of what you're supposed to wear, and how you're supposed to look in a workplace, as well as school. Second. Um, we'll talk about what happens if you do change the dress code. And um, third, we'll be talking about the future if they do change the dress code. It's hard to express yourself due to these dress codes and um, ideals. According to the 2016 article titled Don't Commit to the Usual Workplace Fashion, Stillman and Ride say um, they understand the disconnect with the younger generation. Employees with dress codes who've been working since their, since 50s, 40s, or even 30s remember the day that dress code changed. Um, we used to went from wearing skirts, pantsuits, ties to khaki pants, jeans, short sleeves, and sometimes cases shorts. The generation gap and what the older generation typically wants you to wear doesn't really come into play with the new generation. Um, there is still a standard office attire. Um, it depends on the type of office you're working in. If you're working in an older building with um, your supervisors from the older generation, this is what their ideal of what you want to wear. But with the new generation, we have relaxed a little bit and future to come, it will become even more relaxed. There, the tab, the um, workplace um, taboo is fading about what you're supposed to wear and how you're supposed to wear it. Changing dress code would make it easier on people. Rewriting the dress code to, to slack it a little bit more to help people focus on their work and not what they're wearing. According to the 2019 article titled, How Many People Have Tattoos? 36% of Americans between the ages of 18 and 29 have at least one tattoo. 30% of college graduates in the United States have tattoos. As the popularity is growing, it's hard to find jobs if we're gonna if you have the ideal of you're not allowed to have tattoos or piercings in the workplace. Making it known in schools and work businesses that tattoos and piercings are becoming more popular, they should be allowing a little bit more to show. I understand that if you have an appropriate tattoo, you're gonna to wanna to cover it, but if it's not inappropriate, then what's the point in covering it? Um, you also have to express to the older generation that they have the idea of what you're supposed to wear, that tattoos are not appropriate for the workplace. It's hard, you can't really change the mindset of older generations, but we can try to. We can make it happen. Imagine going to work and not having to worry about what you're wearing or how you look and getting in trouble for what you're wearing and how you look. There's also mental effects about being told about strict dress codes. According to the 2017 article titled, um, Impact a Dress Code Has on Mental Health, why sacrifice 20% of productivity in, um, in organizations? If you're smart enough to do your job, you're smart enough to know how to dress. According to the, also the 2017 article titled, the, um, the Impact of Dress Codes Have on Mental Health, the cause of anxiety, discomfort, research by style, compare yourself Make people want you to make, makes people want to leave their job from how they're told to dress. Um, they also have a problem with um, women, as they have the idea of wearing skirts and dresses to work that they don't want to wear that. And they also um, there's also a problem with people who have disabilities as well. And to wrap things up, um, we started off with talking about the older generation and their ideals of what we want to wear. And then next we talked about changing it. And then lastly, we talked about what it could be like if we did change it. Wearing what you want shouldn't affect the, how others work around you and how you work. 
If you're smart enough to do your job, you're smart enough to know how you dress. It won't change now, but we can start expressing ourselves and trying harder. Um, in time, it will change. Dress the way you want and what makes you happy. Um, when the baby boomer generation moves out and the millennials and Gen Z start becoming business owners and becoming managers, over time, the dress code will change. Um, we'll be able to show off piercings a little bit more and the uniform will relax a little bit. But in the meantime, just express yourself and dress the way you want.